happy birthday. Look what came in the mail. An egg. It's your very own magical creature. Wait, really? Yes, but you have to take good care of it and wait for it to hatch. But I want to see it now. Don't give me that attitude. You have to be patient. It will hatch on your 17th birthday. <clears throat> it hasn't hatched. No, not yet. I'm going to take it to class with me. Please be careful. Don't let it get stolen. I won't. Guys, mine just hatched. I got a panda dragon. I got a koala unicorn. What about you? Well, actually, mine's still in the egg. <laughs> Yours is probably dead. It is not. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, please hatch. I have waited so long for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. Hi there, little guy. Uh -oh. That's a very rare creature you got there. Who are you? I found them. I'm gonna need you both to come with me. What? Actually, I just remembered I need to go back home. No, you need to come with- Hey! Honey, your egg hatched. Let's celebrate. No, Mom, now is not the time. I was being followed home, but I think I lost him. Excuse me, what? You were being followed? Yeah, by this creepy guy who said my creature was super rare and he wanted me to come with him. Oh no, you and your creature are in danger. What? Open up. I'm pretty sure he's a creature hunter. You two need to hide. But what are you gonna do? Don't worry, I'll get rid of him. Just go hide now. And don't come out no matter what. I know you're here. Surprise! Found you. Now let's go. I said let's go. <laughs> Whoa, maybe now I can kind of see why they wanted you. Honey? Oh. Mom! Mom, you're hurt. I tried to stop him, but he was too strong. Oh. <laughs> what is it doing? <gasps> Whoa, it, it healed me. This was so worth the wait. What? Nothing, sweetheart. I just, I can't believe it. He won't be passed out for long. I need to go get something. I'll be right back. So, you have laser eyes and the power to heal people? What else can you do? Okay, what is taking her so long? Mm. Shh, shh, I'm here to help you. You're telling me that I was stolen? Yes, when you were a baby, your mom stole you from your dad. He sent me to look for you. You're lying. I'm not. You need to come with me. You're not safe here. Well, look who's up. You're not going to take her creature. Oh, but I will. Mom, did you really steal me from dad? Yes, after our divorce, all I asked him for was your egg, but he wouldn't agree to that. So you didn't even want me? Of course not. And for 17 years, I've had to put up with you. But you know what? It was all worth it because your creature is amazing. Kid, you need to come with me now. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> you just... <sighs> Hello? Oh, please, wake up. What happened? I saved your life. Mom, what did you do to her? You used your laser vision on her? Yes! I'll protect you! Thank you. Molly! Is that you? My name isn't Molly. Oh, but it used to be. Before your mother took you from me. I can't believe I found you. Dad? It's me, honey. I think it's time you finally come home. <sighs> <sighs> Why am I on a beach? I must have gone too hard last night if I don't even remember where I'm at. That guy over there is, like, not moving. I should probably check if he's okay. Hello, sir, are you okay? Dude, yo, maybe he'll wake up if I slap him. <coughs> oh, that was a lot of water. Are you okay? You you just saved my life. Oh, no, I was just walking by. Was that a mermaid? Forget about that, I'm in love with you. You've saved me. <gasps> I was not supposed to find you. What, what are you talking about? Nothing. You have to come meet my father. I can show him I finally found a wife. I'm sorry, wife? I'm Prince Eric and I would love for you to be my princess. <laughs> I can't get married to you. What? You have to marry me. That's how the story goes. Oh, there you are. Good morning, dork. I am not a dork. Whatever you say. Hey, do you think my new haircut looks dumb? I don't like it. I think it looks really good. Right, you have to say that because you're my best friend. That's not true. You look great. Did you hear that we're getting a new student too? Yeah, we haven't had a new student in so long. <laughs> I know, I wonder who it's gonna be. Class, everyone meet Macy. Whoa, she's so pretty. Yeah, I, I guess so. 
Hey, Macy, you should come over here. Take a seat next to us. Hi, guys. Oh, my name is Jason, and this is Bailey. 快手，拥抱每一种生活。You should come sit with us at lunch. Would that be okay? Yeah, for sure. Good morning.、Uh, you didn't leave a seat open for me. Oh, my bad. I kind of forgot. I'll see you at lunch then. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Macy, what were you saying? Girl, you better tell him that you love him. I don't love him. Are you sure about that? Dropped this. Oh, thank you. I don't even own a TV. Whatever. I guess I'll just throw this away. What is this? I guess the only way to find out is to push one. Now I just have to figure out what that exactly caused. Why did all those people freeze at the exact same time? Does this pause time? Oh, I'm gonna get some good use out of this. Everyone, please put your phones away for the test. I forgot about the test. I know what to do. Just gonna steal the answer key real quick. Don't mind me. Sorry. Play. You may now begin. You have one hour. Hey,、uh, can I talk to you? What's up, babe? Yeah, so I'm sorry, but I have to break up with you. What?、Mm, just one second. Hey, babe. Oh,、uh, hey, what's up? I'm breaking up with you. What? Are you serious? Yeah. Bye. Oh wow. Are you trying something new with your hair? No. What do you mean? Look at yourself. <gasps> what happened to my hair? Honestly, I think it's kind of cool. It looks like a bird's nest. Looks like you have some pink strands of hair now too. Apparently. I guess it could have been worse. It could have been country. I fell in love with an emo girl. All I want is. Very funny. You know, you kind of look like Machine Gun、mm. Kelly too. Thanks. Why do you look like Hot Topic threw up on you, guys? Okay, it wasn't me. It was my soulmate. I don't want to dress like this. You know, maybe you should. It kind of suits you. Maybe your soulmate just has a crush on Avril Lavigne. That's fair. Me too. Or they might be like a super famous rock star. I really doubt that, but it would be super cool. Guys, is that who I think it is? Looks like your rock star isn't that far away after all. Why you lie about the guy? Is it true you lied? She should have died. I didn't lie about the guy. She's not thinking clearly. Just see, rhyme it. They time it. She's out of her mind. Seriously. Okay, I'll believe you. But I got my eye on you like glue. I can't believe my best friend's gone. Bring him back. Come on. They timed it, and he couldn't rhyme it. It's the world we live in. We can never win. I don't want to be here anymore. Please. Rhyme it. They time it. You have so much to live for. I don't want to see you on the floor anymore. Anymore. I don't know. You look down. What's with the frown? I just saw someone get killed. Your head is a mess, but you can't stress. They time it. You need to rhyme it. I just saw someone get killed. Your head is a mess, but you can't stress. They time it. You need to rhyme it. I just saw someone get killed. I wasn't very thrilled. Please keep your mind at ease. What'd you get on the exam? Exam. Exam. Rhyme it. They time it. Hurry! You need to worry. Stop yelling at me. I can't think of what rhymes with exam. Good morning, honey. Today's nice and sunny. You're not speaking. What are you seeking? Are you scared? Your rhyming is impaired. You must speak. No one is allowed to sneak. You rhyme it. I'll time it. Why are you doing this to me? Tick tock. The time is on the clock. Why are you doing this to me? You rhyme it. I'll time it. Tick tock. The time is on the clock. Why are you doing this to me? Just let me be. You're safe. You're lucky. Lucky. You're safe. You're lucky. Come on, Brad. You wouldn't shoot me. We're partners. I'm sorry, Bob. I'm just doing my job. How are you feeling? Um. Rhyme it. They time it. Feeling. You rhyme better than anyone I know. Just go with the flow. 拥抱每一种生活 I'm scared. You're out of time. You couldn't rhyme. What's going on? My partner's gone. Now it's your best friend's time to rhyme. Five rhymes in the given times. 
five rhymes in the given times. I need to rhyme in time. You can't rhyme the same thing twice. It isn't nice. Five to stay alive. I, I don't know anymore. You don't know? It's time to go. No, my best friend, you put her to an end. You're a monster. Rhyme it. They time it. You're a monster. Tick tock. The time is on the clock. Hey, you can't steal my gun. You're done. Happy birthday, daughter of mine. I bought you a gift that is so divine. Why am I six? You need to rhyme it. Be careful because they time it. Why am I six? This needs a fix. You get older every year. That's how it is, dear. I'm actually 17. Happy birthday, daughter of mine. I bought you a gift that is so divine. Thank you. You need to rhyme it. Be careful because they time it. Thank you for this gift. It was really on my list. Yo, bro, can I have a bite of that orange? Orange. You need to rhyme it. Be careful because they time it. Uh, I don't know what rhymes with orange. What rhymes with orange? Come on, you need to rhyme it. They time it. Nothing rhymes with orange. Dissy, you're home. Come play with me. I was all alone. Of course I'll play. How could I stay away? Perfect. You be the stepmother and I'll be the princess. Um, princess. Sissy, they time it. Rhyme it. You be the stepmother, I be the princess. Hurry up. They time it. Rhyme it. You be the stepmother, I be the princess. Um, princess. Sissy, they time it. Rhyme it. You'll be the stepmother, I be the princess. Hurry up, sissy. They time it. Rhyme it. You'll be the stepmother, I be the princess. We play just like recess. I do shoot. I want to dispute. We time it and she didn't rhyme it. <gasps> She's still breathing. She might not be leaving. Please let me try and save my sister. I'd miss her. Go, but tell anyone about this and I'll know. She's going to be okay. You can visit her where she stay. Sissy, I missed you, little Missy. One of our partners nearly killed your sister. Tell us what happened with the mister. He timed it and she rhymed it. He shot her by mistake. His mind must have been on break. Why you lie about the guy? Please be something cool. Earphones. I wonder what ability this is gonna be. I guess I should try them out. Morning, honey. Oh, hey, mom. I have to tell her she's adopted. Did you just say I'm adopted? No, I didn't say that, honey. What do you mean? I'm going to school. Hey, Giselle. Oh, hey, Olivia. I'm just friends with her so I can hook up with her boyfriend. You know what? This friendship is over. What? Is it something I said? I think these give me the ability to know what people are thinking. Sweet. Giselle, you're failing this class. You got an F on your test. Well, Mr. Fitz, is there anything I could do for extra credit? Oh, she could suck on my... You know what? I'm fine with failing. This is both a blessing and a curse. What object am I getting today? A pair of glasses? What kind of ability is that? I guess I should try them on. Morning, honey. Oh, hey, mom. Wait, you used to be a stripper? How do you know that? Don't judge me. No, I'm not. I'm going to school. No way. These tell me people's darkest secrets. Hey, Giselle. You slept with my dad? What? No! Don't ever talk to me again. Since when do you wear glasses? Since this morning. You know, you should really stop crushing on teachers. What? Giselle, come on, please just go out with me. Tyler, for the tenth time, no! Oh shit! I can finally see my parents' bank account. Although I don't expect them to make much, we can barely afford the house we live in. What? My parents are millionaires? That means they can buy me my new phone. Hey mom, hey dad. What's up sweetie? Um, can you guys please buy me the new iPhone? 
The new iPhone. <laughs> Are you crazy? But why? There's no way we can afford that. Hey Giselle, what's wrong? Is it possible for the system to show you the wrong amount of what your parents make? No, the system is always accurate. Why do you ask? Well, because it says my parents are millionaires, and they can't even buy me a new phone. We also can barely afford the house we live in. I think you need to talk with them about it. Mom, Dad, you guys are millionaires. Why are we living in this crappy house? I think we should tell her. Mom, Dad, you guys are millionaires. Why are we living in this crappy house? I think we should tell her. Tell me what? Sweetie, you're adopted. I'm adopted? Are you serious? Honey, we wanted to tell you. I can't believe you guys were keeping this from me this long. I have to go. Hey, Jessica, can I please come sleep over at your house? I'm having some family issues. Yeah, of course. Thanks. Thank you so much for letting me stay here. Your family has a really nice house. I don't think I've ever met your parents before. They're usually gone for business trips. Jessica, come downstairs. They're back. Let's go say hi. Mom, Dad, this is my best friend Giselle. Hi, Mr. and Ms. Smith. You look oddly familiar. No, surely it can't be. Mom, Dad, this is my best friend Giselle. Hi, Mr. and Ms. Smith. You look oddly familiar. No, surely it can't be. Jessica, can I talk to you alone for a second? Is that okay, Giselle? Yeah, okay. Hey, I'm back. Oh, you're done talking to your parents? What did they say? They think you're their long-lost daughter. Crazy, right? Um, no. Actually, it's not crazy. My parents told me this morning that I'm adopted. Really? We need to go tell my parents right away. Mom, Dad, Giselle has something to tell you. My parents told me this morning that I was adopted. So you guys may be my biological parents. We need to go take a test to be sure. Yeah, let's go. The DNA test results just came back. Giselle, you are. Disappear and stay? What does this mean? It's a new form of population control. People can vote for you to disappear or stay. Why do you look worried? Well, Dad, because I haven't exactly been nice to people. Everyone's going to vote for me to disappear. Oh, honey, it's going to be okay. Just try to apologize. Looks like it's finally payback time for you making fun of me all these years. I understand. I'm sorry. Hey, Giselle, remember that time you cut my ponytail off? Jessica, that was in middle school. Can't we just forget about that? Actually, we can't. You never even said you're sorry. I'm sorry. Giselle? Jake, hi. Remember that time you cheated on me? Look, I told you I was sorry. If I could take it back, I would. Well, you can't, so... Hey, um, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... Hey, uh, Giselle? Look, just vote for me to disappear already. I never really liked you, but... You voted for me to stay. Why? You're always mean to me, but I don't think anyone deserves to disappear. Thank you. I promise I'll try to change. Guys, look at him. He's such a loser. Hey, leave him alone. Look who's talking. You're a big bully yourself. Yeah, well, I'm trying to change. <laughs> you could never change. Shit, I forgot my pen. Hey, you could borrow mine. Wait, really? Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. I think it'll be better for you to just disappear. Mom, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. Mom, I'm home. Do you have your report card? Yeah, it's right here. Look at this. You got all D's. You're such a disappointment. You don't mean that. Oh, yes, I do. And I think it'll be better if you just disappear. Mom, no, please don't. You don't really leave me much of a choice. What's going on here? Dad, Mom voted for me to disappear. Is this true? Yes, she's just a waste of space. 
You know what, Giselle, just come with me. Dad, what's going on? It's time I tell you the truth. She's not your real mom. Are you serious? Yes, I'm sorry. I never knew she would treat you like this. You lied to me my whole life. I only need one more vote to disappear, so I'm gonna go find someone to give me that. Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. Hey, I know you hate me. Can you please just vote for me to disappear? Why would you want that? Look, just do it. Um, okay. No, I said vote for me to disappear, not stay. But I did vote for you to disappear. What? You must be the one. The one? What do you mean the one? I can't tell you here. Come with me. Can we stop running and you just tell me what's going on? There's a rumor that there's a person that's unable to disappear no matter how many votes they get. And I think it's you. <laughs> me? Why would it be me? Because when I voted for you to disappear, it went to stay. People are going to come looking for you. You guys, there they are. They found us. We have to go. Okay, I think we're safe here. What are we going to do? I haven't been completely honest with you. There isn't only one person I'm able to disappear. There's two, and I'm one of them. So you're one too? Yes, and here's what we need to do. Weekend one of Coachella is sadly over, so I'm going to rate all the outfits that I wore this year. Okay, this was my day one outfit. I'm obsessed with it. It's giving 2000s Avril Lavigne. The only thing I would have changed about this is I wish the short was like ever so slightly shorter. But the Converse were a smart pick because last year I wore heels and I learned my damn lesson. I'm gonna give this one like a seven out of 10. Day two, oh. I was dying over this and everyone else was also dying over this. It's giving bitch on the back of the motorcycle that you can never stop thinking about when you see her. This is a 10 out of 10. I would have not changed anything about this look at all. It was perfect. This is day three and it was really, really cute, but so impractical. I had to fully tape the top to my body because it would not stay where it was supposed to be. The skirt was also falling. You can see my underwear in this pic. But regardless, it was iconic. I'm gonna give this one like a nine out of 10. The fringe gloves, oh. I'm so sad that Coachella is over, but I'm also glad that I had a redemption arc from whatever my outfits were last year. Everyone and their mother is freaking out over this bold glam filter, so we're gonna try to recreate it. Jump scare! I have some things, so let's do it. Going in with a blurring primer because I did not have a single pore with that filter on. In case any of my pores are left, I'm gonna use a blurring BB cream too. This concealer is literally white because we wanna lift and snatch the face. I am built like an egg, but this filter gave me cheekbones. I want a little baby button nose. I was about to use this. What happened? <laughs> Did anyone else go follow Selena Gomez after all the drama? My brows are already dark, but this filter made them even darker. That's definitely aggressive. Why do I look like a who? Shine bright like a diamond. I really don't want to do this, but it's time to overline my lips. I already have lip filler, so this is a lot. It's giving fish from fishtails. Spot the difference. Okay, final reveal. This is me with the filter on, and here's me with the filter off. It looks even crazier because I already have a full face of makeup on. How do you guys think I did? Let me know in the comments. There are so many different kinds of people that go to Coachella. First, you got the people who somehow have everything in their bag. Oh, I think my foundation's messed up. Oh, your makeup's coming off. I have a mirror. We got oil wipes. I have liquid IV in case you're thirsty, a lip gloss. I also have a fan and some hair clips. Then you got the people who will take any opportunity they get to take a photo. Could you take a photo of me right now? The light is so good. Yeah, I guess. Slay, get it. Okay, were those cute? Um, sure. Okay, let's go over there and take some more too. Then you also have that friend who kind of can't hang but will rally for their favorite artist. Are you sure you're okay? We don't have to stay. Yeah, I'm fine. I have to watch Blink-182. You are incredibly determined. What kind of person would you be at Coachella? Get ready with me as I tell you guys about the time I had a stalker. When I first moved to LA, I lived in an apartment complex that had a gym with it. But then I moved to somewhere that had no amenities at all, so I had to go and get a different gym membership. Since my rent had gone up, I was like, um, bitch, I'm gonna save some money and go to Planet Fitness. Key piece of information, this was not in the best area at all. Everything had been totally fine, no weird experiences, until this one day I smiled at a dude in the parking lot and then he left a note on my windshield. I was just trying to be friendly because he was getting out of the car right next to me, but oops. the note basically said, you're cute, call me. And I kind of laughed at it and never did because it's weird. Fast forward two months, I had gotten a new car and it was like 9 p.m. I come out of the gym and there is a sticky note pasted right above my door handle. This is what the note said. Mm. 
Obviously someone was butthurt that I didn't text them. This man knew what my old car looked like, now knew what my new car looked like, and knew what time I went to the gym. I went back the next day and cancel it immediately, but they couldn't do anything about it. This is my daughter. Hi. Oh, hello. And how much time do you have left to talk? I have two hours left. Perfect. I've been dying to get to know my future stepdaughter. And that's how I met your daddy. Wow, that was a really long story. I know, and I haven't even let you talk. Go on, it's your turn. Well, I like to play... Oh, no. Are you all out of talking time? Well, there's always tomorrow. Ten minutes? Are you kidding me? And till Ingrid breakfast is ready. Hey, Ingrid, my dad wanted me to... Yes, and the best thing is he's filthy rich. <laughs> no, he doesn't suspect a thing. <gasps> How long were you standing there for? You little gold digger. I'm telling my dad. Dad, you won't believe what I just heard Ingrid saying. I told you to get her. Her breakfast is getting cold. No, forget about her breakfast, okay? Ingrid is a... A what, Anne? Spit it out. Oh, boy, you're out of talking time, aren't you? Did I hear Anne is all out of speaking time? Yeah, poor thing barely got to talk at all today. Wait, Anne, just text me what you want to say. What's the matter? Don't tell me you forgot to charge your phone again. You're kidding me. Anne, that's not really responsible behavior. I agree. But hey, I gotta go to work, so text me once you charge your phone. Hello, Anne. I'm really sorry, but I can't let you do that. Don't worry, I'll keep it safe. Why didn't you text me? Dad, she took my iPhone and my iPad. You did? Oh, would you look at that? She found another way to communicate. And yes, I did, because I caught her watching some inappropriate videos. Anne, is that true? She won't admit it, darling, but I did catch her, and she really needs some discipline. <gasps> oh! Anne, that's it. You're grounded. Get out of here. Ingrid, I'm so sorry. This behavior is not like her. Don't worry about it, darling. I think I do know a way you can make it up to me, though. <laughs> Let's start by getting that shirt off of you. Yes! Oh my gosh, she is so busted. Dad, guess what? I got five hours of talking time today. You better be using that time to apologize to Ingrid. No, Dad, there's something that I need to tell you. No, first eat your breakfast. You have plenty of time to talk. Okay, I finished my food. Can I please talk to you now? Okay, but thank Ingrid for the breakfast. Wait, she made this? Yes, even after you were so disrespectful to her. So I want an apology to her first, and then we'll talk. No, Dad, wait. <laughs> Don't give me that little laugh. I have five hours of talking time, so my dad is gonna find out exactly what you... Exactly what you... Are you okay, Anne? Uh, there you go. Now just rest, darling. You sure she's all right? Yes, I think it's just a bad flu bug. Don't worry, I'll watch over her while you're at work. Oh, thank goodness you're up. Dad? Yeah, hey, how are you feeling? What time is it? It's 4 p.m. You were asleep for almost the whole day. Luckily, Ingrid watched over you. Ingrid? Ingrid did this to me. She... Oh, you're all out of talking time. Oh, you want your phone? Well, sweetheart, Ingrid accidentally broke it. But don't worry, I'm going to get you a new one. Also, don't freak out, but we moved our wedding date up to next weekend. Look, I know this is a lot to take in, but the venue that we wanted had an opening, and we just had to take this opportunity. All right, this time, no messing around. Dad, Ingrid is a liar, and you won't believe what she's hiding from you. Sweetheart, I think I know what you're talking about. You do? Yep, she told me the news this morning. Yes, darling, I told him I'm pregnant. What? I'm so happy for us, Ingrid. Anne's always talking about how she wanted a little sibling. This isn't over, Ingrid. Really? Because I think it is. Face it, darling, I have your daddy wrapped around my little finger. And if you cause any more trouble, I'll convince him to ship you up to boarding school. <laughs> Here, Anne, take out the trash. Your daddy and I are going golfing. <sighs> Seriously? Wait a minute, is this her pregnancy test? That little liar, she's not even pregnant. Oh, it's time to expose her. But what better time to do that than her wedding day? Ugh, this is ridiculous. What's the matter? I only got three hours of talking time. Oh, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Listen here, you little brat. If you do anything today to ruin my wedding, you'll regret it. 
I'm almost out of talking time. What if I can't say I do? Ingrid, it's going to be okay. Yeah, and if you can't talk, you can always just nod. That'll work just fine. Yeah, exactly. Darling, could I speak to Anne alone for a moment? I know you're planning to ruin my wedding. I can sense it. Oh, Ingrid, I would never do such a thing. Then why do you seem so damn happy? Because I know that you're not really pregnant. Oh, I see. So you're going to try and expose me? Well, do you really think your daddy will believe you? Yes, I do, because I have proof. Really? Well, would it happen to be on this phone? How did you... Ingrid, it's time for the wedding. Coming, darling. Now, why don't you just fetch? No! <sighs> Thank goodness it's not broken. Mom, what's this location thingy? Honey, that means you're the special one of the family. Huh? One family member from each household is given the gift of knowing people's locations. Sweet. Cool, sis. Makes up for the fact that you've got no other talent. <laughs> Your brother isn't answering his phone. Where's my brother? He's at Jessica's, and I think we probably know what they're both doing. <gasps> oh, he is so grounded. Dad, you're back from your trip early. Uh, yeah, I am. Secret handshake? What? <laughs> Our secret handshake, we always do it when you get back from your trip. Oh, of course. Uh, honey, I'm so sorry. I'm just so tired. I'm gonna go lay down. He would never forget our secret handshake. I might be crazy to ask this, but where's my dad? Mm. It's him. Hey, you in there? Hi, Hi honey. You oh, hey, dad. Mm -hmm. Is your phone ringing? No. Oh, really? Because I'm pretty sure I hear mm. that. Who's calling you? No one. It was just uh, a video that I was watching. Um, anyways, I'm gonna go now. Hello? Penny, hey, listen to me very carefully. Dad? Yes, that man in the house is not me. Get your mom and your brother and get out. Wait, what? There's a lot more to explain, but- Hello? <sighs> come on, come on, pick up. We're sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. What? Where is my dad? Dinner's ready. Okay, just a minute. Hey, sis, thanks a lot for snitching on me. Come here. Get off of me, what's up? Shh, something very bad has happened, and I need your help. So there's a man pretending to be dad? Yes. And our real dad is in a basement? Yeah. Your dinner is getting cold. Mom, there's something that we need to- Hey, kids, get to the dinner table now. Doesn't the food look good? Um, who made this? Would you believe it? Your father did. Actually, I'm not hungry. Ah, uh, Penny, come on. Well, I'm starving. No, Mom, don't. Mm, this is grave. It's a new recipe. Can we be excused? You can, but your brother is still eating. Let him eat in peace, honey. But, Penny, it's fine. Just go upstairs. Hello, Penny. Dad! You can cut the act. You know I'm not your father. Your mom and brother are taking a little nap. Where are they? Why don't you ask for yourself? <laughs> Where's my brother and mom? Where's my mom and brother? Where are you taking them? Who are you? Well, Penny, I'm actually your uncle. What? Didn't your dad ever tell you he had a twin? <laughs> what do you want with us? Your dad owes me a lot of money, and he hasn't been very cooperative, so I decided I needed a little leverage. That's where your family comes into play. Are my mom and brother... They're fine, and they'll stay that way as long as your dad cooperates. And what about me? Someone with your power can be very useful for my line of work. I think I'll keep you. Your dad escaped from my men. Ask where he is. Where's my dad? So, what's it say? It says he's in his car. Well, he's too late. You and I are leaving. I don't think so. <laughs> Penny! Hey! Are you okay? Is it really you? Yes, Penny, I swear it's me, honey. I just found your mom and brother. They're all right. You're safe now. I'm ready for school. What's this? I'm ready for school. What just happened? What about this one? <gasps> when did I get here? Chill, we've been here an hour. An hour? I never even left my house. You're acting strange. And that is why the war started. Dude, did she just throw no way? That's so embarrassing. <laughs> you have to derail manners. No, no, it was the chair. It was the chair. I promise you it was the chair. No way, that wasn't a chair. We all heard it. Get me out of here. And that is why. Please, I need to use the bathroom. Hey. Babe! I'm here to break up with you. 
Also, I've been cheating on you throughout the entire relationship. I'm really sorry, but I'm not actually. Oh, you are not getting away with this. Babe! I'm, I'm breaking up with you, and I've been cheating on you throughout this entire relationship. How could you do that? How could you cheat on me? Oh! Just like how you cheated on me this whole relationship? I, uh, how did you know this? I'm an intellectual. Bestie, you will never believe what I can do. I can go back and forth in time. Have you lost your mind? No, I'll show you. I want to take my best friend forward in time. Bestie, did it work? Did what work? Dang Bestie, look, I don't want to explain this whole thing again, but I can go back and forth into time. Have you lost uh, your... Uh, Hold my hand. I want to try something. Huh, how did I get here? Shh, we're in class. You really can time travel. I told you. Hey, I need you to help me with something. I need you to help me with something. What, do you need to rewrite a test or something? No, it's way more serious than that. I'll tell you after class. Okay. 10 years ago, my family was in a car accident driving my sister to school. I was homesick that day. None of them survived. I need to go back and warn them not to get in that car. I don't know. Changing the past that drastically has got to have some kind of consequences. No, you don't understand. The last thing I said to them was I hate them and I wish they were never my family. I can't live with this guilt. I have to fix this. Okay, I'll help you. Thank you. Take my hand. What is taking her so long? It worked. I convinced them all to stay home today. That's great. Let's go back. Wait, I forgot my phone. What's going on? Wait, come back. No, I left her in the past. <gasps> Bestie, there you are. I was so worried. Who are you? I'm finally 18. What gift do I get? A mystery box? Oof. Well, might as well open it. No, don't. Why? I heard a story of one person who had a mystery box and they stopped breathing right as they opened it. I should wait to open it then. Good idea. It could be very dangerous. What did you get for your gift? I got this mystery box. Open it. I heard of someone who got a mystery box and got a million dollars. Don't open it. I heard someone got gifted a mystery box and lost a finger. Open it. Don't. Open it. No. I'm scared. I'm not gonna open it. Hey, I want to trade my gift with you for that mystery box. What's your gift? A mansion. It's way better than a box, so give me the box. Trade it now. No, we can't trade gifts. It's illegal. I have to know what's in this box. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's empty. Have you opened your box yet? No, I haven't opened it yet. I don't know what's inside. Open it. I need that box. Give it. Just open it. I'll give you my mansion. Back. Stay back, you fiends. Open it. No, I don't think there's any need to open it. All right, class, it's time for the test. We'll be starting right now. Oh, shoot, I forgot my pen. Oh, my God. What is this box? You lied to me. You did open the box. Shh, my crush is coming. Oh. Hey, boss, I could really use some perfume. Perfect. This box could be very beneficial to me. To us. No. Hey, box, I could really use a million dollars right now. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Uh-huh, nothing. You are a terrible liar. You know you can't go outside until you turn 21. But why? I'm 18. Isn't that close enough? No, you're not going outside. I need to know what's out there. I'm going to work. Don't try anything while I'm gone. Okay, see you later. Why is there nothing good on Netflix right now? Who's there? That's definitely not my mom. Bailey, honey, listen to me. There's somebody inside the house. I saw it on the cameras. You have to leave now. But I can't go outside. It's just this one time. The police are on the way to save you right now. What do you mean they'll save me? Okay, this is it. I'm going out the window. Wow. <coughs> Ooh. Hey, you can't touch anything. Why not? You can only touch three things today. I don't understand what the big deal is. You have to save them in case of an emergency, okay? I'm sure it'll be fine. You can only touch your own body or things you're already wearing. I know. Everyone take out your textbooks and open to page three. I can't. 
You can't touch anything again today, Bailey? Just how it is, I'm sorry. You can follow along with what we're doing on the board. Hey, do you think you can hand me a pencil by any chance? No, uh, I'm sorry. Why not? I can see that you can touch three things. Just use one of them. No, I'm sorry. Just ask someone else. I want you to do it. Hey, what are you doing? Let go of me. Look, it's not that hard. Bitch, did you just slap me? Yes. You're gonna regret doing that. Reason? Reason of what? Sorry, I forgot to tell you. You have to pick the reason you die. I don't want to choose the reason that I die. You have to. We all do. Well, it's definitely not going to be by drowning. I'm going to pick the most painless one that I can. Good luck. I don't think any of the options are good. Murder? Oh my god, that's way worse. No. Can this give me an option that doesn't suck brutally? <laughs> Bailey! Oh, sis, what's wrong? I didn't pick a reason in time and it picked one for me. What? I picked one for you? Apparently you only get three choices. I didn't know that. I'm so scared to ever get into a car again. I'm so sorry. Be careful with your choices, okay? I will. Please just give me something painless. A million dollars or a hair clip? Come on. Whoops, sorry. Phoebe, do you know what you just made me do? I didn't mean to. Mom says it's your turn to take out the trash. No, she didn't. She said it was your turn five minutes ago. Hey, wait. How do you know that? You weren't there. Uh, I don't know. I just... I just do, okay? I don't think I can make it to your party. What? Why not? You always come to my party. Sorry, but my mom's not letting me go. You sure that's the real reason why? Uh, yeah. Anyways, I gotta get to calculus. Hey, I think this clip is telling me the truth about people. You ready for a date, babe? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. What? Why? Something came up at work and it's urgent. Quite hey, so. you work at a computer factory. How urgent can it be? I'll explain later. Don't worry. I gotta go. So all this time he's been lying to me about his job. I have to follow him. Did you get the codes? Yes, sir. I have them on my phone. And you're sure you weren't followed? Not that I know of. Excellent. Because I have another job for you. Hey, who the hell are you? Um, I'm... That's it. Get over uh, here. Uh, hey, boss. Look who I fell spying on us. No, no I, I wasn't spying on you guys, I swear. Who do you work for? Who sent you? No, nobody. Hey, stop. She's with me. Do you know this girl? Yeah, I do. She's... She's my girlfriend. Jack, I am so sorry that I followed you. I don't have any wires on me or- Quiet. I told you. No attachments, Jack. She was just a cover, sir. Good. Then you shouldn't have any problem with me getting rid of her. Sorry, sweetheart. But I can't have you running away and crying to the cops. You're not gonna shoot me. Why is that? Because you can't. You have no idea what I'm capable of. What? It's jammed. Okay, well, do you drop your weapons now? Really, Jack? You're gonna turn against me, huh? Sorry, sir. Can't let you kill it. Now slide those weapons over to me. Alright, let's go. You're gonna regret this. So when were you gonna tell me that you're a criminal? How did you know his gun was jammed? No, I asked you first. Answer me. Listen, there's no time to explain. We have to change our appearance. They're gonna come looking for us soon. Take this cash. You're gonna run to that store quick and go buy us new clothes. Okay, and what are you going to do? I'm going to stay here and keep an eye out for anyone looking suspicious. Okay, fine. I really like your hair clip. Thank you. Are you here all by yourself? What happened? There was a woman in there who was acting really suspicious. I think they're on to us. We, we need to get out of here now. Okay, get in. Jack, this is in our car. I know, now let's go. I still can't believe you hotwired someone's car. I had to. My boss knows my license plate. He could attract us. I just hope this hair clip still works if I'm not wearing it in my hair. Huh? Look, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but this hair clip is magic. It tells me the truth about people. It's how I knew your boss's gun was jammed, and it's why I followed you to work. You're joking, right? No, and honestly, it's really been coming in handy, so what's wrong? My boss. He's here. Well, what do we do? He's headed right towards us. Follow me. 
I think we lost him. Yeah, for now. Jack, I can't keep doing this, okay? We've been on the run all night. I'm tired. I think I know a place where we can crash for the night. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry for all of this. You broke my trust, Jack. I know, and I'm going to do everything I can to gain it back. I promise I'll fix this. Now get some sleep. We'll talk more about this magic hair clip in the morning. Okay. Jack. Looking for Jack? You really thought you could get away from us? Where is he? He won't be able to save you this time. Get over there. I want to make a deal with you. You come work for me, and in return, I'll let Jack go free. I don't think I can trust you guys. It's not really your choice. Unless you want to see your boyfriend dead. You're not going to kill Jack because you're his parents. What? How did you... How does she know that? I don't know. She... She must be a spy. Yeah, I kind of realize that now. Who are you talking to? She's obviously talking to someone on comms. No, I'm not talking to anyone, I swear. I bet her hair clip is a camera. No. No, wait. Give that back. Quiet. There's no camera or microphone, but it is a cute hair clip. No. What the? This thing just spoke to me. What did it say? It said she's feeling worried. How could the hair clip know that she's nervous? You know, I've heard about things like this. I think this hair clip might be magic. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. No, it all makes sense now. That's how she knew my gun was jammed. And how she knew to avoid me at the store. Make this thing tell us the code to the... It doesn't work like that. Sure it does. You're just holding out on us. You make this clip tell us everything we want to know, or else we're gonna... Hey, that's enough. Did you just... No, don't worry. They were just train darts. Now let's get you free. I believe this belongs to you. Thanks. Quite so. So, um, you have to turn my family and I in. What? Jack, I'm not going to turn you in. I. It's okay. I'm sure your parents have reported you missing by now. It was going to happen to me eventually, so just make the call. I'm going to find a way to bail you out, okay? I can't believe I'm using my birthday money to bail your boyfriend out of jail. Hey, you owe me big time, remember? Yeah, yeah. Jack! Brooke, how did you bail me out? My sister gave me her birthday money. Wait, where's your hair clip? Well, that was the deal. I gave her my hair clip, and she gave me her money. You did that for me? Brooke, I can't thank you enough. Well, hey, I don't need to use it with you, because I know you'll always be truthful with me. I promise you, I will. Your Majesty, we found this peasant running around holding this sign, begging for more words. A wordless beggar. Feed him to the dog. Your Majesty, please help my family. You only had six words left. You wasted them on me. Help. Your Majesty, you have infinity words, and the townspeople are really struggling. You could give them all words, and you'd still have infinity. And why would I do that? I run a palace. Not a charity. You are one evil, evil queen. Who are you? Reveal yourself immediately. You don't deserve all those words. <laughs> go! Guards, a witch stole my words. Where'd she go? Give me your words. Immediately. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I cannot. Hello, Queen. You'd like to sell this crown? Too bad. I won't buy from you. These are real diamonds and gold. Yes, but you're a selfish queen, and you don't deserve any more words. Sorry, Your Majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. I'm sorry, but I don't have much to give. Guards, shock off her head. I've never seen you this quiet before. Word, please. Don't worry, I gave your words to someone more deserving. That servant girl? She's safe, and she has infinity words now. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. I'll clean everything up quickly. Give me your words immediately. 
I'm sorry, but I don't have much to do. Guards, chop off her head. What? Get over here. Hello, darling. This is for you. In Infinity work? They'll be back. Come quickly. I'd like to sell these diamonds. You're trying to scam me. These diamonds are fake. I'll buy those from you. Really? Why would you do that? Is 1,000 words okay? Yes, please. Servant girl. Her Majesty. Look, I'll give you words. As many as you want. All I ask is that you promise to be kind to me. Take this. Take over as queen. Okay, class, did everyone receive their intelligence score? No way, she got a zero. What are you doing? I need to work really hard and prove everyone wrong. Good morning, Donna. Here's your coffee. Thank you. How did she become a CEO when she has an intelligence score of zero? Catherine? Uh, yes, boss? You'll be in charge of coffee lines today. No way, seriously? Seriously. Come in. Hey, I was just thinking it'd be a better image for the company if you put your intelligence score to private. We wouldn't want people thinking an idiot runs this company, right? Let them think what they want to think. I know, but... You may be excused. All right, everyone. Let's begin the meeting. It's so cool to have a CEO with an intelligence score of 100. What? I can't believe you have an intelligence score of 100. You're so cool. Look at this article. You're getting praised everywhere. You're the first person in the world to reach an intelligence score of 100. So now, because I have an intelligence score of 100, everyone all of a sudden respects me? Good morning, everyone. I'd like you all to meet our new hires. Are you serious? These are the new hires? Their intelligence scores are extremely low. Hey, boss. Why did you hire a bunch of new staff that are, well, to put it lightly, dimwits? Have you spoken to any of them? No. Well... Then I would like to ask you to speak with one of them, and I can assure you the staff I hire are very intellectual. Oh my. Woo, party! Boss, all these dimwits you hired through a party, and they're destroying the office. Ooh, this is so pretty. No, don't! What have I done? Skip school or stay home. My mom wouldn't let me stay home if I wanted to, so... Hey, Mom, can you give me a ride to school? Sure, honey, I'll start the car. On second thought, I'll walk. Thank goodness, you could lose a couple pounds. Yeah, that's a great point. Thank you so much for bringing that up, Mom. Thank you. Hey, Giselle, do you want to go on a date with me? Jay? Seriously? I've had a crush on you since forever. So, do you want to go? I can't. I'm busy that night. I didn't even tell you which night. Yeah, I'm busy all nights. Hey girl, do you want to come to the mall with us? <laughs> For once, a good option is free. Yeah. You guys, I just found this giant Squishmallow. Are you going to buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Your gems. What? You guys, I just found this giant Squishmallow. Are you going to buy it? Of course I am. It's a great investment. Giselle, your gems. What? You have a million gems. But how is that possible? It went up when you bought the Squishmallow. Am I being punked? Mom, I'm home. What's that? Oh, this? This is my new giant Squishmallow. How many gems did you spend on that stupid Excuse thing? Excuse me? Squishmallows are not stupid. And she was only 10 gems. Do you really have 10 gems to waste? As a matter of fact, I do. I have a million. Here, I'll send you 100,000. Honey, where did you get that? Stop asking questions, Mom. You're welcome. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll get it. Hello, may I help you? Are you Giselle? Yeah. You're under arrest for the possession of stolen gems. Hey, Mom. Oh my gosh, your glasses are so cute. Can I try them? Yeah, of course, honey. Here. No way. You used to be a stripper? What? Don't judge me. I'm not judging. Get that back, sis. Giselle, hold my hat. Okay. Shut up. You went to jail, but you're only 16. Uh, how do you know about that? It's a secret. 
Damn, it's so cold in here. Do you want to borrow my jacket? Yeah, that's great. Thank you. You know what? On second thought, I'm fine. And thank you so much for reminding me to close my blinds. Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Great, thank you. Mr. Fit? Ugh, my hair is so annoying. Hey, Jessica, do you have a scrunchie for me? Yeah, you're in luck. Thanks. Mr. Fitz? You know about that? You're secretly dating Mr. Fitz? Giselle, keep your voice down. Do you know how much trouble you could get in? You could get expelled and he could be thrown in jail. Well, none of that will happen if you just keep your mouth shut. Yeah, don't worry. Your dirty little secret is safe with me. I can't believe I have to sit in a classroom every day knowing my teacher is in a relationship with my best friend. Miss Giselle, can I talk to you for a second? Um, yeah, of course, Mr. Fitz. Alone. Um, okay. So why did you want to see me? You look cold. Put on my jacket. You freaking per- Mmm, yummy chocolate. Mother, may I have a bite of chocolate? No, you may not. You may throw it on the floor. Mmm, chocolate. Timmy, Timmy, you forgot to ask. Mother, may I? Mother, may I go home? I'm scared. You may. Mother, may I please let me have a drink of water? No, you may not. <laughs> Babe! You may not disobey mother, ever. I can't believe it. Mother killed my boyfriend. She's such a- Shh! She's always listening. Mother, may I comfort my friend? No, you may not. You may kill her. Mother, may I comfort my friend? No, you may not. You may kill her with the item in your back pocket. No, Brianna, you wouldn't. I'm your friend. Steph, I can't disobey mother. Ah! Steph, there's nowhere for you to run now. Mother, may I kill Brianna? You may. No. Mother, may I go home and cry? No, you may not. You may face the consequences of your actions. Look what you did. You killed Steph. How could you, Brianna? She was my best friend! She was my friend, too! Mother told me to do it. I can't disobey what Mother says. Mother, may I avenge my friend and kill Brianna? You may. No, wait! Mother, may I ask for a truce? You? No, wait! Mother, may I ask for a truce? You may try. <laughs> I don't want a truce. You don't deserve it. Steph was my best friend and now she's gone. Look, I know what I did was wrong, but you don't have to be like me. You're better than that. You're right. I am better than that. But don't think we're friends anymore. You're dead to me. Yes, yeah, school's out. Mother, may I go home? School's over. No, you may not. You may stay at school. Why is mother doing this? She's not letting anyone go home today. I'm hungry. I want dinner. I'm starving. Mother, may I eat my bagel? You may, but anyone has a chance to steal your meal. Brianna, stop! Mother, may I eat this bagel and only I can eat this bagel? Hmm. Mother, may I eat this bagel and only I can eat this bagel? Hmm. You may. I'm so dizzy. Em! Emma! I... I... She's too weak. She needs to eat something. Mother, may I share my bagel? I guess you may. Here. Em, you need to eat this. You okay, Em? I'm feeling a little better. Mother, may I have a drink of water? No, you may not. Mother, may I drink this glass of water? You may, but you have 10 seconds to finish it or you'll die. Mother, I finished it. All right, you may live. 
Mother, may I go to sleep? I'm so tired. No, you may not. Jake! Jake! Mother, may I go to sleep? I'm so tired. No, you may not. Jake! Jake! Ah, what do you want? I was sleeping. Jakey, Jakey, you forgot to ask. Mother, may I? Oh, no, Mother, I wasn't really sleeping. I was just pretending. Jakey, lying to Mother? You may die. Jake! You may not cry. Yes, Mother. I can't keep my eyes open. I'm gonna fall asleep. I can't do this anymore. I'm going to sleep. Emma, you can't sleep. You need to stay alive. Stay awake much longer. Mother, may I go to sleep? No, you may not. You may stay awake. I'm exhausted. If only there was a way we could stop playing Mother May I. Mother May I. Stop playing Mother May I? <laughs> you. Mother May I. Stop playing Mother May I? <laughs> you. May. I'm free. I'm free. Thank you, Mother. Mother, may I stop playing Mother, may I? No, you may not. You may play Mother, may I for all eternity. No, but that's not fair. Too tired. I'm just going to take a nap and go home to my family. Emma! It's not fair. Mother let you stop playing Mother, may I and not me. What are you going to do? I'm going to end you. Emma! <laughs> Emma, Emma, you forgot to ask. Mother, may I? I? Gotta get out of here. There's gonna be a target on my back if people find out I beat the game. The door's locked! Who's there? Who are you? Show yourself! Mother's here. Who's there? Who are you? Show yourself! Mother's here. You really thought I'd let you stop playing Mother, may I that easy? What? In order to stop playing Mother, may I? You must defeat me. Mother, please don't do this. I don't want to go up against you. I love you. You. You do? Yes. Has anyone ever told you that before? No, they did not. I thought all my children were just ungrateful. Mother, may I give you a hug? You may. Congratulations, you are now mother. What? Who is this? I thought I just killed mother. <laughs> there are multiple mothers. Mother, may I drink water? Mother, may I go home? Mother, may I use the bathroom? Mother, you guys have probably figured out by now, I am obsessed with music, it brings me to life. Which is why you can join me live on Tidal on April 4th using their new live session feature. You can listen to my top 10 tracks that prove romance is dead. I cannot wait to share these with you all, so make sure you join the live session. Happy 18th birthday, sweetheart. Thanks, so I've been meaning to ask. Since I'm old now, can't I go outside? No, you are not allowed to go outside. But mom, enough with this nonsense. You are not going outside. Okay. And remember, you have to heal me when I come back from work, okay? I know, I do it every day. Can everyone else heal people too? Uh, of course they can. It's not just you. Well, then why don't you heal yourself? Uh, it doesn't work. I have to get going. See you later. Who's there? Hey, uh, don't panic, but... Ah! Damn, you can punch kind of hard, Blondie. And I'll do it again. Who are you? I was running away from some bad people, and I just needed somewhere to go. I'm sorry. I'll let you escape under one condition. Uh, okay, anything, anything. I have to come with you. Come on, please give me blue. Mom will disown me if I get red. Pink? What the hell is pink? Why are you wearing that shirt? Oh, because that's the color I was assigned. You need to go take it off right now. What? Why? You cannot be walking around wearing pink. Go put on blue instead. Okay, geez. Is this better? Yeah, nobody will be able to tell now. Okay, good. Oh, Bailey, you got blue too? Um, yeah, I did. Why did you say it like that? You seem nervous. Like what? I'm not nervous. I heard that Martha got the color purple. Like what? <laughs> Purple? That's crazy. What does that mean? I don't know, but they said they're gonna kill anyone with a different color. They're gonna what? Um, yeah, you didn't know that? Are you okay? No, I'm fine. I just hope that nobody got pink. That's the worst color of all. What did you say? 